how's it going guys I'm back again got off work early because I'm a framer and it's 35 degrees out and there's no breeze and we're building walls today and uh, ah, we got roasted and we're at an off-grid uh, site where there's no water and we drank about a gallon and a half of water and I ran out of water usually I don't do that but uh, here's a slight reason why I haven't been uh, posting a lot of videos lately I got the deck and the railing done for the pool got the gate locked as well just built this Turned out pretty nice, I think. Uh, I don't know what you guys think, but I like it. It's my this is my biggest summer project that I've done yet for myself because usually I don't like to spend money on stuff like this. I just spend it on solar and and fixing my vehicles. But uh, yeah, we're off grid. House is being cooled by solar. It is so hot today. I'm gonna go for a dip in this pool after actually. Just for a second. Let's see if I can unlock this. We lock it with a carabiner. So my little girl can't get in. I'm gonna lock it with a lock eventually. Yeah, here's the pool. Thought I'd give you guys an update. Uh, go for a quick dip and then I'm going to uh, get back to work. I'll take this sucker off. Then, I'll show you what I'm going to be doing in a little bit. It won't seem that long to, for you guys because it'll probably, probably be the next clip. Uh, anybody need Jeep parts? Getting rid of that thing soon. I'm just going to take some parts off I want and I'm going to call somebody and they're going to come tow it away. Here's the other four kilowatt of panels I got to put up, so I'll have about 10,000 watts total. And here's another, oh, I can't remember how many kilowatts are in here. Oh, here we go. There's another about 11 and a half, 12 kilowatts of batteries. This is out of that Ford electric EV car, that hybrid. Oh, uh, what's it called now? I think it was the, oh, I can't remember. I've had this in here for so long, but I'm going to take this apart and take the modules out. Because I need this space for nails, for uh, framing. So, get on that. I got all kinds of crap in here. Got a spare rim. Got my welder. I got my old turbo out of my Jeep. Got to bring that back eventually and get a core price for that. Got my old crappy drone. And a good old toolbox. Anyways, thanks for watching. Okay, well, just a little update on the liquid cooling on the Reliable Electric, which is happening. It's on that one there. It's going to happen. I've been waiting on this. I got uh, some really good recommendations online. Didn't even know this stuff existed. I didn't get that crazy into computer stuff and thermal stuff, so I got some Thermal Grizzly Point five millimeter there's some specs on the back I'm gonna use this so this is gonna be between the MOSFETs or the the IGTs or whatever the heck they're called and the heat sink and they're also going to be between my uh, liquid cooling blocks and the aluminum <coughs> they got a really good review so I bought a bunch of them these oh man oh boy these are not cheap not cheap at all I think these just this little bit that I got this is like I don't know 65 or 70 bucks not cheap so you pay for what you get obviously so we'll see what what they have in here and I'm gonna compare it to this I don't know how I'm going to compare it. I might, uh, I don't know, I might see how thick it is or something. But uh, even this one here on the wall is going to be replaced with that eventually. 
because I believe this is an upgrade. I don't know for sure yet. All I know is this is about 30 bucks, almost 30 bucks each. They're like 20, 20 something bucks each, which is nuts. There's this, and this is not enough for this inverter. I need two of these. So I only got three. That's enough to do just this inverter for the moment. Um, and if I like it, I need to get enough to do this inverter. So, anyways, thank you whoever uh, recommended this. I can't remember your name off the bat, sorry. Uh, just uh, post that you're the one, and I'll pin you uh, in the video. Thanks a lot. So we're inside the battery. And yes, it looks like crap on the outside, because this is actually underneath the car. But on the inside, there's seals. The inside looks great. This battery, you don't have to be quite as scared of. Uh, it still is high voltage, but it's not like 300 plus voltage like other car batteries have, because this is in two pieces. Uh, this is more like what you find in, in your household. Uh, so it's more like 130, 140 volts. It still could kill you in the wrong circumstances, but still, 300 volts is more dangerous than this. I already checked the voltage on all the batteries. They all seem to be awesome. So it looks like I have a uh, total between the two packs, brand new, 23 kilowatts. And I'm thinking I might, this might be like, worst case scenario, might be 80% capacity of what it was brand new. So you can do the math. But that that's usually worst case scenario. These vehicles usually don't go that long. And this was added a fairly new vehicle. Um, so depends on the driver. It could be less, but likely it, it's 80% or more. So let's get these things, uh, disconnected. The second I take these jumpers off all the way around, it becomes safe. You got to take them all off and then it's, you got a safe pack. Like these are 16 volts each max. So you're not going to get killed by that. So let's do that and make this safe. Okay. So I said, once we disconnect these, we're safe. A little exaggeration. You still have the balance wires hooked up. You can still die from touching the wrong balance wires. So be careful. Now, this here was the main uh, pole. And there was a main pole over there. That, those can still be live because your balance wires are still all connected. They, there should be a kill on your BMS so they aren't live especially if you disconnect these like this then there really shouldn't be shouldn't you definitely still be careful ah these are not the easiest things to unhook as you can see that one actually was connected here there we go that's easy to take out now so now we're even safer before you go touching too much you be very careful with these these disconnects here, those are normally extremely dangerous between the, this main uh, connection point here and here. Super dangerous. Same from there to there. Super dangerous. So, anyways, we're going to get these out and eventually hooked to the power wall.